following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Cheyenne, Wyoming, weighing in at 206 pounds, the Rebel Chris. Guys, the anticipation for the steel cage match has been absolutely unreal. And with good reason, there's nothing quite like witnessing a steel cage match live and in person. Corey, what should we be on the lookout for here in this steel cage match? Cole, you can bet both of these superstars will be looking to use the cage to their advantage as much as possible here tonight. At least they should be looking to do that. Here we go, steel cage action, kicking off here. Look at him, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. Incredible impact. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. What a stomp, good grief. Beautiful technique. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. 
the enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other, like WCW's Tower of Doom. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. What a stop! Good grief! He's making a statement here with this attack. Here he goes. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. He survived the cage. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, the Rebel, Chris. That's an impressive win right there. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.